Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where I have not played this game in over, I think, a week and a bit. Uh, I was on vacation, so uh, unfortunately, I didn't get enough time before I went on vacation to do pre-recordings for you guys. I usually try to do that. Um, I've actually done it in the past where I don't think you guys realize that I, uh, yeah, I wasn't recording for that <laughs> entire week. So, uh, but anyways... We are finishing up Russia. This should be our last episode of Russia. And the reason why we're still here, uh, because all the contracts are done, all the tasks are done. Uh, but apparently, if we go into this, uh, this menu, you can go over and you can see under upgrades that we have 22 out of 24. I probably should be getting these upgrades a little bit sooner, so I will try to do that in the uh, Kola Peninsula, which is, uh, well, will be uh, the next episode. Uh, or possibly even this episode, depending on how long this takes, but we have to find these, uh, we have to find these upgrades. So here I am, I'm in Tamar, or sorry, Zimogorsk, and we need to find upgrades. So basically... I've, I've looked at the maps, the quarry, I feel like the quarry I have pretty well covered. Uh, there's only a couple spots up in here and actually now that I'm looking at it way up here. So this may be a possibility as well. Um, but like the rift, I think I looked at the rift and it was pretty much, yeah, the rift is pretty much all exposed. Uh, there could be an upgrade hiding, like, way over here. Uh, which would make sense, because they did all this work, and we've never... Never even attempted to go up this hill, so... Uh, it's just one of those things where you look around and you try to figure out, okay, is there an upgrade in here? There's probably not one through here. This is probably... I, I'm gonna guess this is all kind of computer-generated terrain. And then they came back in and edited, edited it for uh, for actual use. I can't imagine them sitting there building this train by hand. Uh, this kind of stuff they probably throw in by hand, the rocks and whatnot. But the the actual topography and the the dense's or the 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 areas of dense forest trees and and whatnot. But you know, you never know. You get, I mean. I, I'm thinking in today's standards where you have AI that could probably whip this out pretty quick. <laughs> uh, but then you have to go in and manually kind of do areas like this where you, you make it look more like a, a town center. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about that. I'm getting off tangent. Um, so anyways, we're going to check out Zimogorsk. We are going to, and I've kind of looked at this already, um, I feel like this spot here could be a local or a, a, a location. Uh, I kind of checked down here. There is this area here, but I'm pretty sure there was an upgrade there. So I'm going to head straight to this one. I feel like that's probably my best chance on this map. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see uh, where it goes from here. So other thing I would like to do. You know, I guess this thing probably has enough uh, fuel, but I think I might, when we get to, to Kola Peninsula, I think there's a lack of fuel everywhere. I think you basically just have your one trailer pickup point. Um, so I want to see if it's worth hauling a trailer with this and what size. Should I do the scout trailer? Um, unfortunately, I can't get any of these trailers out right now, so I, I'm gonna worry about this later. <laughs> but, um, or is it worth dragging along like a giant one? Maybe I drag out a large one and then just leave it there. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think we just, yeah, let's just scoot through here.
I I kind of forgot how slow this thing is. <laughs> it's a it's an awesome awesome vehicle, but it is uh, it's a little on the slow side. I think I put the best tires on it. Can't really tell without crashing. No, I think I just these are kind of like my favorite looking tires. I don't believe they're the best tires for this truck. Uh, I may actually have to look that up myself, just to uh, verify. But I think a lot of a lot of the comments when I first got this truck were saying that the... The original tires that came with it are, are probably the best. Um, I'm hoping we can get across this water. I did forget that this uh, vehicle doesn't have a snorkel. And the engine is in the back. Oh my god, we're so close. We're so should be taking on damage. How did we not take damage? You know what? I don't know how, but it uh it definitely was worth it. <laughs> like that was that was that was way too close. Uh, I don't think we've actually taken this trail here. So let's go ahead and go this way. We don't really have a whole lot of option. Maybe I might. I'm debating about going to the Yar uh, 87 just because of the speed. I mean, this thing is a, literally a tank. So it can pretty much go through anything, go over anything, go through most things except for water because it does have an Achilles heel. The, uh, ooh, do I go up? Uh, I'm going to go up. Uh, the Achilles heel is definitely water. Um, the fact that it has no snorkel, um, I don't know, it kind of bugs me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the vehicle is not very tall anyway, so it's not like you can traverse through. Oh, okay. Apparently, that's another Achilles heel. <laughs> uh, but you can't, you couldn't traverse through super deep waters. Um, but then again, I guess we never really like, unless I'm goofing around. Uh, I don't really have to go into too deep of water, so maybe that is a, uh, a reason why they decided not to put a snorkel on this thing, because if it did have a, even the, the smallest of snorkels, you probably could get through most, um, terrain. Let's go, we are, yeah, we're, we gotta cut hard left here and go straight into the woods. Just mow over anything that, uh is less than a foot in diameter. Um, can I see anything? See my marker. Oh, wait. I think I see something over there. That's not a bad... Oh. How do we get there? Oh, come on. Oh, it's a boulder. These little boulders just... I, I, I would call them, if there was a smaller name for an Achilles heel... Yep, we found the upgrade. Uh, they are definitely boulders. <laughs> the large boulders, that is. Alright, cool. What do we get? Uh, we got a engine for... Oh, the R87. Um, the Con 39 and the Con 317. Which I think is a vehicle you have to buy with real money cash and uh yeah i i have not done that so uh yeah maybe maybe this is a good time to uh yeah switch that engine out get that um let's actually just go ahead and recover this thing uh there we go we've got the yar uh let's give it a custom paint job it, it's been a while since i've get, i've had you guys um pick a paint job out for a vehicle, so maybe we'll do that in the next episode. So at the end of this episode, I'll decide what vehicle we're using to talk, conquer uh, Cola. 
and uh, we'll get that painted to the colors that you guys like. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, do all those fun things that YouTubers say and do. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I, I I'm assuming it was this one. So this will actually give us better fuel economy than what we had. And much better power to weight ratio. Sorry, sorry, not fuel consumption. Fuel consumption is the same. Durability. Uh, but yeah, so let's do... We still haven't gotten the fine tune. That's until Wisconsin. That's a long ways away. You know what? I'm going to keep it with the... Uh, Freeway. Yeah, that seems to be the faster suspensions. Tires are all the same. We've got the snorkel on there. We've got the roof rack. I don't think there's really anything else. Ah, that's kind of the Hummer looking one. I'm You know what? Let's go with that one. It It's not the right color. That bugs me that it doesn't match the frame color. You know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Miscellaneous. Uh, well, everything's gonna... Oh, let's, uh, let's throw those on. Give it a little bit of customality. Customality? Yeah. Customization. There's the right word. Um... No, let's just throw the twin horn on. We'll be a little, we'll be a little uh, asymmetrical. Oh yeah, actually, that's a very popular rim. Uh, if you know what I mean. Fuel. If you're listening, send me a pair of twenty inch of these so I can put on my Ram fifteen hundred. <laughs> because these uh these basically look like the fuel that you see on all the uh, all the modified trucks out there. Anyways. Um, there's no sponsors involved here. Who am I kidding? Uh, let's... Uh, you know what? Nope, why did I retain that? Uh, let's unretain this. Alright, and let's go to the global map. Um... So like I said, I think the rift is done. I mean, there's a small chance that it's over here. I just don't think it is. So I don't think it's going to be in the rift. Uh, Zimagors, it sh they, we should be good with. In fact, is there a way that you can tell what region it's missing out of? Uh, let's actually leave the garage so I can bring up this menu because I think that's where it is. I thought there was a way you'd figure out where it was. These are all the, the fun achievements, like Broken Horse. I haven't even come close to doing that one yet. Pull a vehicle with a broken engine out of water with a crane. There's a, there's not a whole lot of task. I mean, there's, there's a good chunk. 18 wheels is not enough. Own a, okay. Well, that's easy enough to do. <laughs> Manually load at least four standard cargo units. I'm getting distracted. What am I doing? Um, so Tamar, I don't, ugh, now that I'm actually looking, I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right. Well, you know what? We're, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. Uh, let's, what, what map has a garage? Let's do that because that will be easier. Not a quarry, the drown lands. I guess the drown lands. That's right. It's only Zimmergroff and the drown lands. So let's go with this. Uh, let's go into the garage. You know what? I just realized something. The yar is not in the garage, so it will not show up. All these, all these little things I forgot. I do have to retain this. We now have to go to the global map. Go to the drown lands, sneak into the garage, and then try to figure out where this where this um, upgrade is. 
Um, that's weird. It says local map is enter. I don't have an enter on my key or on my uh, gamepad. All right, whatever. I'm not. I don't know. Let's uh, go to the truck storage. Let's deploy this. Let's uh, leave the garage. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything else that I could do. I probably could, again, change the tires. Um, as you can see, this one is pretty quick. And this one does give you the ability to bring its own fuel. Uh, so if we refuel... Okay, so we got another full tank on top. Uh, where should we... Oh, wow. Like, there's so many little pieces to go. Uh, you know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's back this thing up. We've got a little trailer that we can bring with us that we haven't actually used in quite some time. Uh, and it's this one right here. This is an exploratory... No, wait, a prototype exploration unit or exploratory, 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 I think. <laughs> I don't know. I've been speaking English my whole life and I still don't think I've got it mastered. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out where we want to do it. Do I want to shoot it here? Yeah, let's try to let's try to get this. We'll we'll park up, I think, right here. Maybe we can get both those dark areas with one with one sweep. I forgot how big this area it is. It, or the I forgot how big the coverage area on the radar is. So we'll we'll do this and try to figure it out from there. Uh, this is a downside to this thing. Um, it's freaking heavy. It does have a little bit of fuel in it though, so I mean technically, technically technically we could steal the fuel out of here if we ever need it. Um, I'm also didn't exactly go through the right spot for this. Um, knowing that that mod is just gonna swallow us. Alright, uh, where's my marker? It's way up there. S stay off the trail. There we go. Oh, oh, perfect. A little bit of damage. No, no biggie. Alright, so I leave. Park up here. Oops. Uh, activate radar. And then hit triangle again for some reason. You think activating it would just activate it, but no, it doesn't. Oh, what? Oh, it's bad. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that tells you how big of an area it scans. Like it went all the way up here, which found our upgrade, uh, which is kind of amazing. And then it did get, uh, it took care of this and this one. And it looks like it may have gotten a little bit of this one, but the important thing is the upgrade's up here. Not at all where I was thinking. Um, wow, that's kind of... I'm kind of glad I didn't uh, venture farther away. Do a little... Did a little test scan there. Because I didn't, I didn't expect it to be in that little one. Because that's just... That's just a pond. Although it's also a good spot to hide an upgrade. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and drop this off. It looks like um, it looks like we will be we will be going to the Kola Peninsula. We are on a new map in a new region and technically in the first um, upgrade or DLC. Yeah, I guess I guess DLC is more of a correct term. Uh, but yeah, we are in the year one DLC now, guys. We've completed the base game. But you come to think about it, 
Normally when you complete a base game, there's an end game that you reach. So I have a feeling, and I, I probably already knew the answer to this. Uh, but yeah, I, they, they knew they were coming out with more maps and more challenges and more, uh, more snow running. Because honestly, there was no, there was no end game, right? I did all my stuff and it's not like I got a thing saying, congratulations, you beat this or there, I mean, there, there are no bosses in this game. So it's not like when you play Mega Man and you beat the game. And you get the uh, the splash screen that comes up and the, the music that plays. Do -do -do -do. Oh no, that was Mario Brothers. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What? Wow! All right. Well, let's uh, let's sell this bag and get our money. We have uh, broke our tire. We have broke our gas tank. We have broke our suspension. Let's uh, let's just limp into the garage real quick, get repaired. Uh, we will leave the garage because of our um, our bad driving. <laughs> I gotta I gotta kind of get used to this all over again. And uh, yeah, where was the upgrade? It was up here, well, somewhere, wasn't it? Did we do it without looking for it. Oh, whoa. Uh, not paying attention to that ditch at all. Good thing we have the autonomous winch on winch on here. There I go again. I'm saying winch, not winch. It's a winch, not a wench. Those are two different things. Um, yeah, this uh, this train's a little bumpy. I would I would hate to mow this. That would be a nightmare. Um, oh there it is. I was like, where is it? Could you imagine if this was an upgrade that we could have used? I, I really gotta start doing that. I really gotta start getting upgrades in the beginning. Raise suspension for all oh, the Dawn 71. Okay, no biggie. No harm, no foul. I don't think we even bought the Dawn 71. Uh, we may have gotten it for free, and I think I sold it. Um, yeah, let's recover. Uh, and yeah, we gotta pack up some vehicles, so let's let's pack this one up for sure. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. These ones are all packed up already. There's the Marshall. That was a that was a decent truck in the beginning. Uh, we gotta go to... What map is it? That map. Zimmergorsk. All these trucks are sitting in this garage. Uh, well, we're gonna take this one with us. We're definitely taking that one, and we're taking that one, and we are taking, obviously, this one. Um, so yeah, let's go to the global map. Let's go to uh, Lake Covid. Yeah. Lake Cove. Um, that's gonna be fun to say. What do we got here? What are we looking at here? Oh, we have the garage. That's it. The garage and the watchtowers. That's all we can see. Well. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is a snowy map. We're we're going back to snow running. We're not mud running anymore. Uh, so truck store. Let's get out the yar. Oh, I can't. That's a that's a bummer. The tartan. I want to be able to switch slots without having to go out. Um, truck storage. Let's do. Let's do the dairy. Let's do the Azov. And last but not least, we will do the Zeeks. What truck do I want 
to uh, throw chains on because I got a feeling we're gonna need chains. Let's uh, let's keep rolling with this one. Uh, tires. We have we have the Jotsma. Yeah, I think that's the basic. Oh, I guess uh, I guess we're only have the ability to throw on those tires. Uh, let's sell these. Fifty-one hundred bucks. I don't know why I'm worried about money. I have. Wow, I have one point seven million dollars. I must have made a lot of money selling vehicles. I do not remember doing that. Um, all right. Well, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this paint job. If you guys hate it, let me know. If you like it, let me know. If you uh, want to pick a different color, then uh, yeah, let me know. <laughs> and uh, we will change it. For now, we'll 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 go with that one. Uh, if I remember correctly. What's their hood ornaments? There should be a bowl looking. Yeah, the bowl. I can actually afford this one. Uh, there's the little boar. Some of these, I wish you could play with the scale of them. Ooh, I kind of like the, the Cobra too, but that doesn't really go with our paint job, so. Like, this is a different color. They're all the same color except for this one. I, yeah, I wish I wish you had a little bit of ability to tweak some of those things like the size of the hood ornaments the colors of the hood ornaments um, That type of thing, but uh, yeah, there we go. Now we got some bowls. We got some bowl on the hood. We're good to go Let's uh, Take our first look at uh, the Kola Peninsula Which I believe yes, this is still in Russia um, Yeah, we're still in Russia so it's probably going to mean that uh, we're still going to have to deal with fog. And we're probably still going to have to deal with um, some other stuff. Well, yeah, of course we're going to have to deal with other stuff. What am I saying? Uh, so this pretty much looks like the... Uh, I got my chains on, right? Yep. This pretty much looks like the other map we just did. Oh, this is a... I thought this was the trailer pickup. It's not. Because that's the other map. Uh, well, let's accept that. And, um... TUZ, the guy knows... Blah, 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 blah. If you guys want to read that, go ahead. I just kind of read it briefly. Um... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go get the, uh... The watchtowers. Let's see if we can't uh, locate these things. Um, well, we're definitely playing in snow. Let's. Yeah, I gotta get used to this whole map. I've never. Have I been on this map? I don't think I have. No, I haven't been on this map. Um, so we got a gas station there, which isn't saying it's a gas station. Let's go down and see if it uh, wakes up. There may be, it looks like there's a task here. When it is cold like this, fuel is just as about as important as food. No light, no heat, no communication maybe. Even no communication, maybe. Firewood may be an option, but this is much better to haul. Just to haul that tanker over here. Firewood may be an option, but it is much better to just haul that tanker over here. Let's see what that's all about. What? <laughs> They're literally talking about this tanker here. All right, well, I guess this is going to get us free gas, so let's uh, take care of this real quick. Oh, 
What? Where am I supposed to? Oh, oh. Uh, dummy me. I, I honestly thought they wanted me to take this tanker and take it to the fuel pumps and then. All right, well, you know, we're not heading in that direction, so let's just drop this off here. Uh, you know what? I got to get used to how this game plays. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little I'm a little rusty. All right, so we got to head up uh, what looks like a giant mountain. All right, not too shabby right now. We're driving on some packed snow. I like it. We're not um, we're not trying to dig our way through powder snow. Although the trail is turning on us, I think we're gonna have to cut through. Which means yes, now we are. Yeah, let's let's put it in all-wheel drive. We've got some... Um, it looks like a little bit of a struggle ahead of us. This is going to be uh, pretty slow going through here. Mm, oh, I see something over there. I bet you it's an upgrade. I'm already, look at me, I'm already getting distracted. This is kind of, uh, oh, this is kind of normal. What am, who am I kidding? Yeah, let's destroy fences and uh, scare all the birds away okay so it's not an upgrade but it is a task so let's uh, let's go ahead and grab it I think I can drive through these nope um yes I can okay. uh, maybe I found the road that we technically should be taking Show the task, let's accept it, and yeah, we'll read about it later. If you guys want to read about it now, go ahead and pause it. Um, we do have a road here, so... I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes roads are very misleading. This is just going to be absolutely slow progress, isn't it? I bet you that's why there's only two maps. This progress is going to be ever so slow. <laughs> I just want to get to an, uh, a watchtower. There we go. Oh. Okay. Nice little uh, glitch there. Alright, at least we're moving. At least we're moving. I'm, I'm happy with this speed. I mean, I'll also be happier if I could fly a helicopter over the entire map and do everything that way, but then... That might just defeat the purpose of the game. Alright, I see the watchtower. Probably should be keeping my eyes out for upgrades. Oh, ouch. Maybe I should keep my eyes on the road. Uh, did it turn off there? Doesn't. Oh. Okay, yeah, the road goes nowhere near the watchtower. 
Uh oh. <laughs> no! Aw. Okay, we have the autonomous winch and we're by trees, so. Um. We're just gonna try to drag ourselves back. Come on. Twist it up. But you don't want to catch an edge. Alright, can I catch anything else? Nothing? <laughs> this is fun, guys. You're telling me... Okay. How is this not catching and rolling? That should have caught. Look at the amount of dirt. Okay. There we go. So that was a minor setback. Um, I, I kind of laughed because I thought I would just be able to easily roll myself back over, but man. I was I was so busy and uh, concentrating on the the rollover I forgot I didn't even notice it went completely dark so I'm gonna back off a little bit and uh, go ahead and launch the lock watchtower. Mm, wonderful, beautiful uh, view of the valley below. Did we get an upgrade? And I realized that I could just check my map faster. Oh wow, that uh, that opened up a lot of it. Um, do I want to go? You know, let's skip to morning. Although, ah, uh, yeah, let's. I mean, there's a lot of light. I feel like you guys could probably see pretty well. without uh, skipping the morning. Now I'm going to attempt this because I thought about recovering. Going back to the garage. Oh wow, uh oh. A lot steeper than I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, losing it. All right, let's just recover. That's what I, that's what I thought about doing. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's uh, let's go after our second uh, watchtower. <clears throat> Debating, do I want? You know what? I might change. Let's recover this. Um, there it is. I can't. I can't, I can't see anything. I want to try to go with speed. Let's do the dairy. Uh, let's customize. We got to get different tires on here. Hopefully. I'm not really sure what tires are the best tires. Well, let's go with these since we already own them. Let's see if we can, uh, get through this stuff a little faster.
<laughs> Maybe it will just be a little bit faster. Um, can I just go straight? We really are just... You kind of have to take the road, don't you? <clears throat> see if... Uh, Well, we were doing, we were going pretty quick. For some reason we slowed down. Probably could rock this truck without all wheel drive. <laughs> so far so good, it doesn't seem to Really doesn't seem to care. The chains will uh, the chains will take care of the ice issue. And uh, I, I I swear this thing has six wheel drive as standard, and then you throw an all wheel drive, and then it uh, gets the wheels going. Cause look at that, all those tires were pushing. Not to mention we have 106 counts of fuel to get around. Uh, I think the uh, I think the watchtower is up on this hill, so go ahead and throw all-wheel drive on for the hill. Yep, there's the watchtower. How do we get to it? Uh, we'll go up to that road. like there should have been a cut through there but it looks like it uh, grew back in oh ho, ho. giddy our favorite mud and snow and ice okay well that's a good good solid shoulder over here Where can I sneak through? Mm, yeah, it looks like, like right about here we can snake our way up there. This truck here has been a pleasant surprise. Um, it actually gets kind of overlooked um, from most players. I had a couple comments, uh, I don't know, 100 episodes ago when I first got this truck where people were kind of surprised at its abilities and I mean I was too. This thing was my... Uh, this was my staple for a while. There we go. We're uh, in here awkwardly, but we're still in here. <laughs> we made it. So there is our beautiful, <clears throat> excuse me, our beautiful view of the valley. Um, well, where, where are we going? Here we go. I'm, I'm totally looking the wrong direction. I think this is where you just kind of point and shoot and hope you get across. There's not a whole lot of contracts to do. Think. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hold on. Let's let's come up with a plan. We do have a road there. You know what? Why don't we go straight? 
we'll go straight. We'll we'll try to find the road through here. I'm tempted to say go for the rocks. The only downside is is if we do tip over, we are basically SOL. Uh, we will have to just recover ourselves. <laughs> and uh, start all over from the beginning, but at least we'll have roads to travel by. I mean, this looks like it's just absolutely ice pack. I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm tempted. I know this is a much larger, longer uh, trip, but if we can get out here, and as long as this ice is solid, Which I think it is. I know there's a way you can tell by color. I don't think this is solid ice. Is it? Uh, you know what? It's solid enough. Okay, I'm really going to have to start paying attention to the colors of the ice. <clears throat> but I think, the, I think it's the lighter blue. If it's dark blue, you're good. If it's lighter blue, then you kind of have to worry. Uh, whether or not you break through it, that is. I, I yeah, I kind of realized I talking about the color of the ice and didn't really say why. Um, so this should all be solid. It's also kind of hard to tell with the sun. These uh, these reflect reflections reflections are pretty uh, pretty beautiful actually. All right, this all seems to be solid, drivable. I guess we can, yeah, let's uh, pick it up a little bit. Forgot I was in uh, low plus. We're going to opt to go around these uh, boulders. <laughs> Again, this truck and its suspension is amazing. Uh, do I want to go up that road or do I want to go that route? I mean... I'm going to go up the road. Until I until I realize what it, it looks like that uh, other side on the other side of the outcrop. It looks like on the map it's nice and snowy, but uh, it might not be. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad I opted to go with a bigger truck for this. Uh, I don't know if the smaller scouts could do this. I'm sure the tank could. And the tank might be a good option. Uh, there's not a whole lot of water that we have to worry about uh, going through. What? Are we stuck on a rock or something? What's going on here? Alright, that was awkward. Okay, so the watchtower is to the right. Oh goody, look at this look at this hill. <laughs> it looks like a frozen waterfall. Alright, well, we should be okay. We got our chains on. Um, I'm pretty sure this road is just blasted out area of rock. Like I said before, and I'll probably say it again in this series. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. That would have been a good that would have been a good uh slogan for this game. <laughs> if they could have if they could have gotten it from Back to the Future. I don't know if they technically have that copyrighted it's not really their slogan um, but it is a famous quote from the movie so all right so uh, it doesn't look like we have any wow okay no upgrades still 
Um, well, let's... Oh, there's only 10, so... I got a feeling upgrades are going to be few and far in between. Uh, we pretty much have all of the, uh, the good ones, so... But that is, uh... Yeah, that is all she wrote for, uh... Watchtowers, huh? Look at all these tasks. There are a lot of tasks. Where are we with this road? Um, I'm tempted to leave this truck here. Yeah, let's go ahead and shut her down. We will go ahead and leave this here uh, because I I want to do something a little bit different. I gotta find where the garage is. I wish the garage, like, the garage should stay at the top. That should be the first thing on this menu, not your trucks. Uh, it should be the garage and then your trucks. But, uh, yeah, we are going to... Leave the garage with this guy. Do we have a trailer store? There's our fuel. On thin ice. We don't have a trailer store, do we? How am I supposed to get trailers? Alright, well, I wanted to, um, let's go down to the, the, this, this pier. I almost have a feeling. We'll do this in the dark. I think there should be a trailer store somewhere. I don't see a trailer store. I wonder if there's not a whole lot of to do in this and it's all just rescue missions and tasks and pulling predetermined trailers that are already on the map around. But let's see in this port if there is a trailer store because I wanted to get the uh, the autonomous or the uh, the the radar. I was gonna pull the radar around. Okay we're, we're definitely getting yes there is a trailer store yay. All right, so let's get this on. Let's also, so we just opened up the trailer store, the storage dock, and we might as well go around. Let's go see if there is anything on this side. I don't think there is. All right, well, in that case, let's back this up. Let's see what we get at the dock, because that's that's probably important. It looks like shipping containers and maybe metal pipes. Metal beams. Okay, just metal beams. Perfect. Well, at least we know. All right, so I, you know what? Let's go to the gas station. We're going to fire this up and we're going to refill it. I am uh, running a little bit out of time here. But I do want to just open the map up like crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and activate the radar. <laughs> we're going to scan the radar right here at the gas station. I feel like we're in twisters now. <laughs> if you know, you know. Is that going to hit the... Nope. There we go. Look at that. There's just a huge lack of... Watchtowers. That's that's kind of crazy. Three out of six. Okay, yeah, so there's three watchtowers on each map. There's two vehicles. That's a bonus. Um, let's go ahead and refuel everything. Um, I don't know why I would do that. What am I doing? Fuel station, there we go. 
refuel that. Refuel the Yaris is already refueled. Yeah, everything is full. Uh, are we going in that direction? You know what? We are going that direction, so let's take... Let's take this fuel with us. We'll drag it... Oh, I'm, I'm dragging it backwards. Never mind, nobody look. Um, yes, yeah, straight. Okay, so we don't really have to... Oh... I kind of want to... I kind of want to scan right about there, I think. With the size of that... Scanning ability of this thing? Yeah. We'll, uh... Ooh, we only got three minutes left. I don't know if we'll make it that far. <clears throat> you know what? We'll, we'll make it that far. We will... Scoot over there, we will do the scan, and we will wrap up this episode. We might even drop off this field tanker, just so it's closer. Um, and then technically we can say we did a task, but I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. This, uh, this map is very, very bright at night. Kinda, I kind of like it. The sky is nice and bright. Clarity, the views are nice. You can see everything where you're going. You know for sure you're going off-road. Although apparently this is money, so... It's alright, it is what it is. This should be faster than any other route um, following the river. I think it's probably a good tip for everyone. Um, just stay away from that ice there where it's all broken like that. That I don't think it breaks, but um, it can break. I think we're safe here. I'll, uh, I'll definitely point out the, the well, you'll, you'll, you'll see me drive through it and, and fall through it. That breaking ice kind of sucks, but I believe it's a teal color. So it should be easy to spot when you're driving. Our uh, fuel tanker's not having a great time back there. <laughs> not a good time at all. Why don't you go onto your wheels and then you don't have to worry about slipping and sliding and flying everywhere. Alright, I think this might be a decent spot. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll drop off the trailer there. Activate the radar. Go ahead and scan it. I think it's five gallons. There's there's roughly six scans that you can do. For some reason, they gave you two extra gallons. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, did that do anything? I guess it did a little bit. Definitely showed that there's a path slash road going this way. I mean, if you can call it that. That looks a lot. That can't be that bad. Although it could be. Alright, let's go ahead and end this episode here. We will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, bye for now.